Are you the manager here? Yeah. May I please have your name? No. Can you spell it for me? N O. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. That's a W. In the comments of the video, a lot of people said that I was trash and loose and run through. I'll and they were absolutely in. right. I am run through. I, I personally have so much cock inside of me and I enjoy that. Okay, I'm let's end this conversation. Yeah. No! Let's we will not end this fucking conversation! Okay, well, now you leave the fucking camera on! Now you fucking listen to me, you piece of shit! You completely humiliated me last week! I did not fucking deserve that! I had to sit there and let people that didn't know anything about me trash shit about me in the fucking comments! Do you understand the thing that made me feel? Now listen, this is who I am! You I have one million subscribers, Ali Dawa, and you could have used it to help me. I'm an author, and a musician, and a YouTuber, okay? What? No! Are you finished this stuff? No! I had to sit there. My brother had to see those comments. A hundred thousand views. I would get my right arm to have a hundred thousand views on a YouTube channel, Ali. Did you have a nice week, eh? I got 300 fucking subscribers. I thought we were going to have an intelligent discussion about feminism. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> First of all, there is no such thing as an intelligent conversation about feminism. Secondly, if you want to be a content creator or a YouTuber, mean comments are just part of the job. And third, you can't complain about your brother having to see the comments, but then you come on and talk about how much meat you've had inside of you. They call her the cat lady. You can catch flies with honey, but you can catch more honeys being fly. He cold. Game is game. I don't care how fine you are, how fine you think you are how good you look, or what you got going on. The first second that I find out you mean or got a smart ass mouth, and for my next magic trick, make this hoe disappear. Fuck out my face. My nigga. <laughs> Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? Exactly, my respect is conditional, but I always give people the benefit of the doubt. Being respectful takes effort, so if I'm trying to be respectful to you and you don't reciprocate that, then we ain't got nothing else to talk about. I don't care who you are, pretty ain't a pass. How to turn a hoe into a housewife. Look guys, if you want to take a hoe out the street, the first thing you need to do is take her to a place where she's not desirable. <laughs> if you got you a white chick, take her to Jamaica. If you got you a black chick, take her to Wyoming. If you got you a Hispanic chick, Get you another chick because we all want to fuck Hispanic chicks. The next thing you need to do is you need to take her to therapy. All hoes got deep-rooted issues as a child, and she needs to be slut-shamed professionally. Another thing you need to do is provide a strong support system. If a hoe tell her hoe friend that she going to stop hoeing, the only reply she going to get is, girl, you're going to be back. You need to David Goggins that bitch. Thanks. And the last thing you need to do is install fear. Hoes have the tendencies to relapse and try to step out again. To stop this, keep your pimp hand strong and use it as needed. At the end of the day, hoes want to be wives and wives want to be hoes. Game is game. And while she's sitting around running around talking about my husband and my the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try to find a donor, honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an axe murderer or a child molester, because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza, so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now check that. <laughs> Bodies, bodies, bodies. Exactly. A single woman is a married woman's worst enemy. These women will try to tell married women why they should leave their husbands while they're freezing their eggs and going to sperm banks because misery loves company. You know how you walk into class late or you'll walk into a work meeting late and it always feels better when somebody walks in late with you? Misery loves company. You don't find that suspicious? Fat ass sitting on the couch eating cornflakes. Get your fat ass up and go out here and run. Lose the weight, bitch. This is your daily reminder to get your ass in the gym. We will not be contributing to the pussification of humanity. Don't let the media lie to you. This is real body positivity.
If you fat and ugly, just be ugly. It's okay to be fat, but it ain't okay to stay fat. Your body is a physical display of your level of discipline. Be the person you want to be and the person you have the potential to be. Don't sell yourself short. Make sure you get to the gym today. You owe it to yourself. Alpha male, not a beta male. It's because I'm a man and I tell you oh my God. what I like. See, oh, this you is narcissistic and y'all don't even see it. Oh, so He's taking control and making it about him again. So you don't want a man that's in control. That's what you're saying. So a man that's in control is a narcissist. I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest failures of relationships. Just because your man have structure and he's in order, he knows what he want, he's a narcissist. If he don't see stuff your way. He's a king for a reason. I think this is what, this, see, women like that, that always say that men are narcissists. They just cry about a man being nor These women be single. Narcissist is just the new word for controlling. Basically, it translates to, I was in a relationship, but I wanted to behave like I was single, and he didn't let me because he had boundaries and standards. If a woman is using the word narcissistic or misogynist, she ain't got nothing to offer but feminism, twerking on tables, and astrology. And she probably can't even cook a bowl of cereal. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I was wondering if you could jerk me. What? If you could jerk me. Where? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. No, I said where's the turkey? Turkey? Yeah. You better go somewhere and beat your meat. Okay. So here's Theo. There is Clara. Here comes Magda. takes her back and Theo's defense is to give her a kiss <laughs> and now Clara comes <laughs> and we'll see the moment that Theo realizes what he's just done <laughs> Stop kissing everyone on the mats. I just saw a bunch of blonde hair in front of my face. I was looking for Clara in front of me. She wasn't there. I thought it was her. Would you date a plus size girl? No, unfortunately not. Because if I'm taking care of myself, I expect her to be taking care of her. Self, um, it's very funny you asked me this question because I had a situation recently where I was <laughs> I was forced to give someone an explanation on why I wouldn't date them, and there was a lot of emotional baggage with that. So was she plus size? She was bigger, but um, we both go to the gym now and we're working on ourselves. So the reason you gave her is because of her weight? Not only that, she was also very masculine in energy, but yeah, it was one of the reasons. But y'all are friends. Yeah. So did she like confess her feelings to you or how did that work? Like Originally it was, it was like that. Yeah. She was like, oh, I find you really cool. And I was like, oh yeah, that's sweet. We hung out once or twice. Um, she was very masculine in energy, but besides that, it was also just that. Exactly. The moral of the story is it's easier to change a person on the outside than it is to change them on the inside. Now, it's not my preference, but I can work with a girl that got a little bit of weight. We can get in the gym. We can lose that. But if you masculine, it's nothing I can do. Also, I'm tired of this narrative that a man is shallow if he wants his woman to maintain her looks or maintain a certain weight. Attraction is important, and if you're the only woman that I get to be with for the rest of my life, you gotta do something. If I gotta maintain a job, you gotta maintain your weight. But also, as a man, you are the leader of your family family and your wife and your kids are going to mimic what you do so if you want your wife and kids to lose weight you should be the first one on the treadmill let me know in the comments below if this video was a w or a l and give me the hbo special that's a helper brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time